and welcome to the IGN Arena podcast. This is our place to talk about MOBAs and competitive gaming on IGN, and I am so excited. You can subscribe to IGN Arena on iTunes or at youtube.com slash IGN Arena. And I'm your host, Leah B. Jackson. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Today, you look excited. I, I really am. It's uh, finally you're happening. You're well excited. Talking about on IGN. So this is awesome. And I'm, I'm happy that you guys are here with me. Me too. So you guys are <laughs> Brian. Hey, Albert. I'm Brian Albert, everyone. Yep, this is James Faulkner. Hi. And Mitch Dyer. Howdy. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. So... So today on the podcast, we're going to be talking about Dota 2, League Indeed. of Legends, and the future of MOBAs. But first, I kind of want to kick it off to you guys and ask you, what was your first MOBA? Oof. So, Brian... I'm starting. I'm starting? You're starting. Uh, You're probably the most experienced of us, right? Uh, you and Leah, maybe in sure. like close contention. So, <laughs> before I was hired here, I was a freelancer at GameSpot. Yes. And my reviews editor was like... You like MOBAs? And I'm like, well, I like money. I like I, I <laughs> love, getting paid I love the work you're offering me. I will learn to love them. So he assigned me a review for this game called Battle for Graxia, which I guess used to be called Rise of Immortals. And then oh, they like, yep. took that down and turned it into a more proper MOBA. Oh, man. Yeah. I've heard of neither of these, and so this it, is... Yeah, me either. I played it, and I was like, this is the best. And people were like, <laughs> hold on. I think you just like MOBAs, but maybe this one isn't like awesome. Why don't you try League or Dota? But anyway, that was my first. And didn't it have like a, a lord that like had like was a giant castle and he could walk <laughs> around and like hit stuff? I think so. They were, oh the game was <laughs> really dumb because there was like a dinosaur character and oh. then the skins were did not like one was just Barney like it was Barney basically. <laughs> so now that you're more experienced, <laughs> looking back, are you like this? Now I feel I not mean, it's as gone. awesome. Mobile's gone. Mm. It shut down after a few months. It's, like you can't even play it anymore. No. Wow. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, yeah, totally. But no, I after that people were like, why don't you play League or Dota and Dota was already on Steam, and so I went to that and have never left. So did you play Dota when it was in beta, or did you play it after it launched? I played in beta. Okay. I played it, I believe, for a few matches a long time ago and was like, mm, I can't, right, yeah. I can't <laughs> do it. Yeah, and like then, you do when you play Dota. Right, exactly. And then maybe, well, I guess about a year ago when I did that review, sure. I was like, yeah, okay, I can do this. And I put in 1,100 hours into Dota, and there's Christ. no signs of stopping. Yeah. A lot, about half of that, to be fair, is watching pro games. It, yeah, watching games, leaving yeah. the clients on overnight. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep exactly. totally. So, James, what about you? I played like a couple games of League, like when it, like during season one, and like after that, I was like, ah, I don't understand this. I, no, I had no one to teach me. I was just like, I heard this was popular, and I went in. and I was like, oh, I have no idea. Stopped playing. Played a couple games of Dota two during the beta, and then then got into the competitive lol scene. Like I watched. A ton of LCS and was started playing a ton of League and then recently all I play is Dota. Yeah, we converted you. You were playing League for a long time. Yeah. You guys were like way hardcore. You were trying to convince me to play and I mm. dabbled. And I was like, ah, I don't really know this is for me. But we've, we've I was I was a bad teacher though. We've brought you. You really do need a good teacher. Yeah. To learn a MOBA. Leah's like, a good teacher. If I didn't yeah. have Leah, I would not have stayed with Dota. She's converted people. So Dota was yeah. my first. I'm the greenest of the bunch to the genre as a whole. Like I dabbled with League and was like, yeah, this is cool. I get the appeal, but it's just not for me. And when we hired you two specifically, you were like, Momas are great. Dota is great. I've played a lot of Dota. And I wanted to understand why you were so into it. And we started, and I hated it. I hated <laughs> Mitch Dota. Mitch hated Dota so I much, hated you guys. It everything was, about it. It was crazy. Like, even the, the little things that the characters say. Like, the he dialogue, would come in the, and be like, I hate that this character style, says this thing. I hate the, the writing. The, every time you would it just was complain. So, it was so dumb. Like, <laughs> all that, like, he pwned his head. I'm like, that's so dumb. <laughs> and the dumb, snippy dialogue these idiots say to each other is so And now you love just it. Dumb. And now you love it. And I love it. <laughs> I love, love it. Love all of that stupid garbage. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, it, it it but it really took a lot of time. Probably like ten hours of hating it and playing with Leah and having Leah be like, "Don't, you're doing really bad. Don't do so bad." <laughs> but doing it, really really said. Oh but doing gosh. it in like a nurturing, motherly way. Where it's like, oh, no, sweetie, don't do it. Like that. Like mobas, don't die. For, yeah, seriously, hang back. Don't feed. run away. Don't feed. Don't feed. Uh, and Dota is like the only MOBA I play. I know a lot of people kind of bounce between them, but it's the only one I really have any interest in playing. It's just you you will never master it. And so it's true. if something new comes out, I'll go check it out and see yeah, what's like different. Yeah, like we've dabbled in Heroes but a little bit. I'm not as good as I could be at Dota. Sure. I could <laughs> so be spending this time getting better at playing Bloodsucker. Exactly. So. <laughs> oh, man. 
I like I like the Blood Seeker. He was my first like really good hero. God, you were good as Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Leo, was yours? Days are gone. Was yours first? Uh, Dota two. My first wasn't Dota two. It was the original Dota. Played some oh, oh, so, shit. Yeah. So way back when I was playing the original Dota um, in legit. Warcraft three, and I really liked playing as Techies. And Techies isn't even in Dota. So you've had a rough yet, year. But he, uh, I mean, he'll be there soon. He wasn't my favorite character or anything, but it was really fun to play as him. And you just sort of blow up other characters. You can suicide bomb, hug yep. them. So that was that was fun. I really uh, enjoyed the original Dota, and it definitely got me interested in MOBAs in general. And now I'm playing Dota 2, and it's fun and exciting to see the, how the characters have sort of evolved and how much better it looks and mm -hmm. everything like that. So it's exciting as sort of an old-school Dota player to come to the new game and witness all this new stuff and see all yeah. the new faces that are really into it now. It's especially interesting watching people come into the genre via Heroes of the Storm because it's like, here's this franchise, and franchise is all in one place that you know and love in a really distilled, simplified version of a MOBA in a format you understand, in settings you understand. It's like, okay, all of this is really familiar. It feels like Warcraft, it feels like Starcraft, it feels like whatever, or Diablo. And it's got all those characters in familiar places that I know. Like, that's really welcoming, and that's going to bring a whole lot of people to the genre. But I worry that that is going to be bad for them, because they're going to expect all MOBAs to be that way. And it's like, Heroes is really good, but it's really simple. Blizzard is sort of couching it in this casual uh, game category Which and I is think that's great. Yeah, I think that's really smart because if you go into Dota 2 or you go into League of Legends, you sort of expect it to be a little bit more hardcore just because of how the game plays and yeah. how the type of people that play it. But with Heroes, it's like Blizzard isn't doesn't want it to be an esport. They're yeah. saying it's for casual mm -hmm. gamers. They are making it as easy and simplified as possible. And I think that's smart. And like you were saying, I think it will be good if it is um, people's first MOBA. Yeah. So, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to in case you don't know, like why it's a little easier, just like the whole team levels up together, and yeah. like, there's no last hitting. There's, there's no creeps. No, there's, there's no, or there are creeps, but there's no last hitting. There's builds and there's no items, though. Right. right. Yeah. There's also like weird sub objectives where it becomes a questy kind of game where you have to go activate these beacons, which let you summon a dragon that you play, <laughs> or you go underground and kill as many skeletons as you can, and like yeah. there's also these weird elements that just are. If you were doing that in Dota, you'd be like, "This is a nuisance. I don't want to do this." But mm. in Heroes, it makes a lot of sense because it gives you more to do, and it's it it kind of applies more to the sensibilities of Blizzard design. And people who play Blizzard games know that, like, oh, this is a fun quest that I'm going to go do to make money and help my team. And it just makes sense for that particular game. Right. And and, uh, oh, oh, go ahead. Uh, also, I think the biggest thing, it has multiple maps. Yeah. <laughs> which is the craziest thing for anyone who plays... League or Dota or... Yeah, or uh, any other MOBA. Is, like, Han one map, too? I don't know. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what was your first MOBA? We want to know, now you know ours, we want to know what you guys played. So let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to IGN Arena at youtube.com slash IGN Arena for more on MOBAs.